Hey guys, Brian with BS Bassin, and today what we're going to be doing here is I'm going to be installing a network expansion on my low rants uh, fish finders. If you have two fish finders and you want them linked together, all you got to do is buy one uh, Ethernet cable and run it from one fish finder to the other, and then all the graphs will work together, your maps will work together. Uh, you could choose what sonar you want to look at. But once you have three, you either have to go to a NEMA network or you have to get the expansion port. I chose the expansion port. Uh, so what I had to buy was this is called a NEP2 expansion port. And then I had to buy two Ethernet cables. And I'm going to utilize my longer Ethernet cable that goes from my console all the way up to my front fish finder on the bow. I'll be able to reuse that one. But that's the only one that's in my boat currently, so I'll reuse that one. And then these two want to go from one fish finder, which will be like the slave fish finder with my mapping cards in it. Want to go from there to the expansion port. And then want to go back from the expansion port to my second fish finder on my console. And then the long Ethernet cable that I already have will plug into the expansion port too and allow all three to be networked together. I'm headed to the top, I'm going to do it. I'm headed to the top, I'ma prove it I could go all night I'm sick of being nothing All right, I'm gonna be something fight Look at that fatty Trust me, I'ma be the one at the top You can't touch me I bleed with every word coming I would rather die than be someone who's nothing I'm the type of dude who will not remain nameless I'm the type of dude who is headed for greatness all right, guys, the first thing you want to do is actually figure out where you want to mount your expan uh, network expansion. And what I found, and I, I have my GoPro down in there, that'll give you another angle. But I found that this area in my front rod locker is going to be the best spot. I could have mounted it in front of my hot foot underneath the console, but I felt that that, that was too low. And if I do fill the boat up with water, uh, not all the way, obviously, but the bowl fills up with some water, it's going to get wet a little bit easier than if I mount it in the rod locker and as high as I can. So the next step is going to be determining exactly where I want to drill my hole for the cables to come through, one for the power, and then all the Ethernet cables. This way I was also able to not take the Ethernet cable all the way out of the front of the boat and just reroute it from underneath the console here back into the rod locker. This is going to allow me to save some time on the, the installation. First thing I'm going to do is actually take my cup holder out and make sure that there's nothing there that I'm going to damage, whether it be some type of electrical wiring or anything else. Alright guys, so from this angle you can see where I want to mount my expansion unit. And this is where I drilled through the rod locker to get below the console. And I have another hole underneath the console to go up towards the fish finders. Right now I'm going to vacuum all the dust out of here, the area where my other hole was, and then I'll actually get ready to mount the NEP2 unit. And I also have this one up here which is going to be my slave fish finder or my main fish finder that transfers the data to all the other ones. So just make sure you don't mix up your cables, know where your cables are going to go, and from there once I have this unit up here, I'll be able to find out how to plug these in and wire tie them together to make everything nice and neat. The only other wire that's not in there right now is my power wire. I'm not sure if the unit's going to mount this way or vice versa. So at this point, I haven't ran that, but that's the thinnest of the wires. I'm going to run that through this hole back to around the console and put it on a fused line. So right now what I'm doing is I'm deciding exactly where I'm going to mount the expansion uh, port. I'm leaving a little room on these wires here so that if I ever need to disconnect this I have the room. And then also this one here I'll be able to mount to the top and I feel in this position I'm not going to have anything hitting my connections. This seems pretty secure here, pretty safe. So I'm just going to drill the four holes and mount the, the expansion port right here.
All right, guys, I got this mounted. My cables are running along the top, nothing snagged. Everything's nice and neat in here. I'll zip tie that later. Uh, the last step to do is actually hook up my power to this and then actually the connectors on the back end of the fish finders. Okay guys, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to make my final electrical connections. If you guys have the manual for this, it shows you two different ways to wire this. One is with the yellow and red wire to a, a power. Uh, hopefully this is a switch power so this isn't on all the time. And then the other option is the red wire to power. The yellow wire will go to one of your uh, fish finders, have a yellow wire going down on the power uh, wire there. You can connect that and that'll actually switch the unit on and off as well. Because my boat has a on off for my 12 volt system, I just wired the yellow and red together. And on top of that, what I want to show you, I'll try to show you as best as I can here. These are a shrink wrap connector here. It's, it's like the shrink wraps built onto the connector. Make sure you do that. Make, these ones are watertight. Uh, I have them on all of the, the connectors that I did there just to make sure that you're not getting any moisture in there on the connector. Uh, some of the things that you could find with a fish finder is that uh, any, anything actually on your boat, if you have uh, intermittent issues with it, it could be the connection for corrosion. Obviously, it's a boat. It's going to be in the water. So make sure that you have everything watertight and that water has less chance of a messing anything up in your boat. So I'm going to make these connections and then we'll see how everything works. So this is the last step. I got everything hooked up. All I got to do is zip tie everything, make it nice and tight. But as you can see, both fish finders here, which this is the newest one. This is actually the oldest one or the one that came with the boat. This one has the same map that this one has. The one in the front of the boat has the same exact thing. So now everything's networked together. I could also choose the sonar that's going to this one on this fish finder, which has zero sonar hookups. This one only has power and a ethernet cable going to it. And then the one in the front of the boat will do the same exact thing as well. So everything's hooked up, looks good. And we're just gonna zip tie things together and wrap this project up.